I don't I don't believe that, Tim. I think if you put your mind to it, you're quite good. But I think quite often you're tweeting in a hurry and stoned. <laughs> I do everything in a hurry and stoned. <laughs> and you're not like in a hurry to get anywhere. It's more a hurry to communicate the idea accurately. You That's true. Any, um, any soup? Yeah, what do you got? What do you got, Han? What do you got, Han? Here what toys. do you got, hun? Oh, yum. Mickey here, toys. Yeah. Remember Disneyland? Hey, just for everyone's mm. reference, we are now live. Oh, well, mm. yeah, we know that. Oh. Tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah guys, live on YouTube. Yeah. Ooh, I live on YouTube. My, I put my hair ties away. I'm just Good day, everyone on YouTube who's tuned in early. You probably can't see us yet because no one's got the link. I'm just pumping this shit out on the Tim, Sosh Did you Mid. watch the Sondheim thing? Did you watch the Sondheim thing, Mads? What's Fucking it? tried. Yeah, it's so, it was so bad. It was so I'm I mean, trying it was to good. Teach, was... My latest obsession is trying to teach myself all of Hart's guitar parts. All of the tricky guitar parts from the band Hart. You know the band Hart? Oh, oh what, yeah. What's, the Hart's yeah, big Crazy on You. The, the intro to Crazy on You is what I've, I've been trying to teach myself. From the like, kind of um, Renaissance fair aesthetic. So good. It's so good. So it's good. So good. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with it. Barracuda is probably one of the best rock songs ever made. Yeah. I Nancy think. Wilson's one of the best guitarists ever. Mm. All right. Like, oh, good. Sorry. No, no, please. <laughs> I think that this Spell sort of Barracuda. Uh, general catch up is, is oh, hard to try. It's a fantastic good. start. So, guys, we're online now. I'm going to play an introductory video. Uh, you can all put yourselves on fast. mute briefly, and then uh, the spelling bee will commence. Right. We have to put ourselves on mute. Actually, do you know what? Somehow we're early. I'll wait for my clock to tell me it's 8.30 p.m. before we play the video. When do we have to go on mute? Now's a great time to go on mute, I reckon. Okay, bye-bye. How's that for technical? Welcome along to Guy Montgomery's Guy Mont Spelling Bee, the very first one. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Guy Montgomery. And you can see on our screen here. Yay. Fantastic contestants. Oh, thanks, Tom. Um, in fact, why don't we why don't we unmute ourselves and we can all we can all say hello? Uh, mine, mine was silent anyway, but oh, nice. hey. hi everyone. Shaka, motherfucker. Uh, thank you so much for taking part in this spelling bee. I'm going to start with Tim. Tim, what's up, what's up man? How are you? You spelled you're wrong, you stupid idiot. That's right. It's one of the many gags that uh, pundits like you can look forward to. It's mm -hmm. the spotters. most popular of all the spelling bees. Uh, we were, this evening we'll be competing with Tim, Tom, Rose, and Mads. That's the order that you'll be spelling in. I'm going to write down your names on my uh, score sheet. Last. Great. Are we Lucky out last. as soon as we stuff it up? No. So before Ooh, we get into it, I'll explain the rules. Uh, you'll be pleased to know this does not follow the knockout format of your traditional spelling bee. Uh, this is closer to the way the scoring works in popular game show Guy Mont Jeopardy, where the goal is to accumulate points. The winner will be the speller with the most points at the end of the sixth championship round and furthermore actually save for the buzz round which mm -hmm. is the fifth round if someone gets a word that you know how to spell and they spell it wrong sorry to say you don't get the chance to spell it correctly uh and collect their points you just have to live with the knowledge that life is unfair and you would have absolutely nailed it uh brutal before we get into our intros r-u-t-a-l fantastic tim are there any further questions no, I don't know. No. Nah. Are you are you are you having a good are you gonna have a good time, do you reckon? Oh <laughs> there's a chance I will. I'm a mite nervous. Obviously, I've sort of laid out a bunch of words and sentences in front of me. Right. And I don't know how to operate any of the technical end of this. Are right. you um is there a prize? There is a prize that will be revealed at the end of the competition. Whoa! Okay. Uh. So I've also taken this from uh, a child's bedroom, and this will be the Thinking music. 
far out. Oh, oh good. Cool. That is really good. And then I've also got uh, this instrument here. And uh, when you get a word wrong, I'll be I'll, I'll be pushing this like that. Oh. Oh, that's good. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah, I do it. Yeah, good, because it makes me feel... I mean, sick. we can't... Can I just ask? We can't cheat, but I'm a kinesthetic learner. Oh? Yeah, yeah, we're with you. Well, oh, God, around. hang on. My, I think my Ozark's learner. playing. I'm a kinesthetic <laughs> learner, and I like to... Um, I like to... Spell it out. Do this. I do, I do that Spell it out with my oh, hands. Yeah, what are, yes, what are the rules with spelling it out with the hands? See, this is why I ask if there are any further questions. You absolutely cannot spell it out on your hand. It all has to be done inside Shit. of your mind. Oh, but that suits people who are oral or visual more than it does kinesthetic. Don't be ableist, anyway. by Montgomery. I'm not being ableist. I'm just telling you how the spelling bee works. Obviously, you can play with any sort of okay. uh, children's okay? mixes or... Meat cleavers, whatever you have handy, you can use to distract yourself while you get a clear picture of what the word is. Guy, can I say <laughs> right. something? Yes, you can, Tim. I'm very impressed and threatened with your technical skills. Oh, thank you. Yeah, traditionally I'm in our relationship, to have the upper hand. Yeah, you do it all. But uh, so can far, I? Can so I? Good. Can I make a statement? Not so much a not so much a, sent, a question. Yeah, you can make a statement. Do you know what my pet peeve is? When people say losing and they spell it L-O-O-S-I-N-G. Oh, losing. Oh my God. I am good? losing my I am losing my shit right now. <laughs> yeah. I am defiantly losing my shit. That also drives me nuts. Loosing it. <laughs> really gets me when people defiantly loose it. Um now before we get into the actual spelling, could you please introduce yourself? We'll start with you, Tim. As written here on my fantastic scoring sheet. Tim, God damn it, he's got who it are you? What's your favorite word to spell? How do you spell it and why do you like it? I'm the other half of Guy Montgomery. And for the last seven years, we've existed in equilibrium where he brings the funny and I bring the tech. But now the tables have turned and I am terrified. <laughs> my favorite word to spell is antique. A-N-T-I-Q-U-E. There should definitely be a C or a K or both in there, but there isn't. And that's oh, cool. Oh, wow, yeah. That is fun. Fun with language. Uh, Tim, the way that you're pacing around your garage is giving me anxiety. So thank you very much for <laughs> introducing that. Uh, Tom, Piping it. you're next on my score sheet. Could you please right. tell me a little bit about yourself and what your favorite word to spell is? Um, I'm probably Guy Montgomery's number one fan. And my favorite work is fracas, which is F-R-A-C-A-S, which is like a quarrel or like a noisy disturbance. And I like it just because, you know, it speaks to me, fracas. Yeah. You like to bring the fracas. Other people like to, bring, like the to bring the fracas. Or the fracas. Yeah. <laughs> say oh, fracas. 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 I say fracas. Fracas. I would say fracas. fracas. Frecker. I'm looking forward to a Frappuccino wow. in uh, Alert Level 3. <laughs> That's oh, right, very shortly. Technically, you meant to say Frecca, you're right. Well, Mother, wow. mother Frecca. Spells the same anyway. Don't feel too Andy happy about Frecker. that, Tom. I sure it doesn't, I'm sure it doesn't bode poorly for your performance in the inaugural spelling bee. <sighs> I'd be Perfect. shitting myself if I was Next top. up, we yeah, have Rose, who has the most beautiful depth of anyone's frame on Zoom. I've seen in a Zoom call I've been on or watched online. It is a joy to watch. Rose, Thank you. who are you? How are you? And what do you like to spell? I am uh, Guy Montgomery's ex-wife. And it's really nice to know that we have a good relationship that you mm. would invite me to do the spelling bee. <laughs> um, I am really into the word, um, I was going to say, oh, pneumothorax. But then I wanted to change to detritus after fracas. Oh, gee whiz. The fact Detritus that you have both is... of those words at your disposal ahead of spelling anything, I imagine would send fear into the hearts of your opponents. That was the idea. Um, detritus, I think, is D-E-T-R-I-T-I-S. Trying to make it look like she was struggling to spell that. I think it was like um, <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> D-E-T-R-I-T-I-S. I don't know. It's crazy. No, yeah, I think that would be my favorite. So, yeah. Well, thank you so and what much. Is, what does no, that mean? It means, doesn't it mean like kind of, you know, bits and bobs? Yeah, yeah. You, you clear out all the detritus. It's all the sort of shit that's left over, I think. It, so, it doesn't sound like it should be detritus. It should be like detritus or something. You know what I mean? A dinosaur. There's something about yeah. detritus for me, which is close to dandruff. Or what's the, what's yeah. the clinical name for dandruff? Dermatitis. Or? Uh, dermatitis. Yeah. 
detritus, dermatitis. dermatitis, and like you'd have all the detritus of your scalp on your dermatitis. shoulders. It's really gnarly stuff. Gnarly, of course, spelled with a soft G. Why did you put it in there? Yeah. And finally, competing this evening, we have <laughs> Madeline Sami. Mads, a little about yourself, please. And what word do you like to spell? I'm sorry, I just got a lyric idea. Um, detritus. <laughs> um, clear off the detritus from a dermatitis. Mm, that's the Midas touch. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll Pretty good. Tell that. Um, I'm, my name's Madeline Sami, and I am. Guy Montgomery's friend who he only ever sees in person when he's overseas. <laughs> and that's a healthy relationship. I think that's a really good healthy relationship. Um, who knows when we're- Where, where have you seen each other overseas? We only ever, we, 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 we often catch up in LA. <laughs> and we've had in dinner in New York before. Oh, yes, we have too. On oh. Netflix's Dime, no less. Yeah, that was good. Thanks, thanks Netflix. Um, my word, my favorite, the first favorite word that came into my head was elucidate. Oof. Um, e l u c i d a t e, I think, um, and that is just to make clear. But I like it as one of those words where, when someone brings it up, it's like, oh, do they mean elaborate, <laughs> or is it like it's like that thing of like, I'm not going to use an obvious, yeah. a more obvious word. I'm going to use me, it kind of slightly. I, I, I like the feeling of knowing someone's using the wrong word and not saying anything. I like it even more when you do say something. But for me, I've been misusing ambivalent my whole life and I still don't know how to apply it. <laughs> um, what do you mean? Ambivalent is amb like you don't feel either way about it. I thought it was totally indifferent, but it, it's, it, it's oh. a balance between indifferent and different, I guess, or indifferent and you know caring. What? You know, I got caught, um, uh, pulled up on the other day um, and it's really confusing because it's two different spellings of two different words that mean very similar things as weary and weary. Oh, yes. 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 So, yes. like, that's so yeah. bullshit. How are yeah. they different? What, is, what are the differences? So, if you're W A R Y, yeah. What's W A R Y? Is that. Um, that's um, like you're, you're sort of you're aware of. You're sort of thinking, oh, yeah. I'm a bit yeah. weary of this. I'm not so Ooh. sure. And then one's just tired or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah one's tired. You're yeah. fucking knackered. But, like, in a way it's like if you're like oh you're a bit tired of being like oh you know yeah i don't know well, you know you say you've got a big night ahead of you you could be weary of being weary and that's just an example of the fun with words that we'll be looking forward to having throughout guy montgomery's guy Mont spelling bee contestants are you ready for round one yes yes hell yes Beautiful. now this is uh this is i'd like to thank my housemate bella for these cards this is uh called round three uh, these are three letter words. This is a nice simple start so everyone can familiarize themselves with spelling. Uh, you'll get three points for spelling a word correctly. And might I say that when you spell the word, what I encourage you to do is, for example, if the word was Bart, you would say Bart, B-A-R-T, Bart. So you say the word, you spell the word, you say the okay. word again. Okay. Great. Tim, you'll be starting us off. Oh, God. The word. It's cat. Cat. C A -E. cat. Correct. Oh, I don't actually have a sound effect for correct, sadly. You just say correct. I'm good with that. I thought this was a bee, but I've been told oh. uh, by Chelsea it's actually meant to be a caterpillar. Either way, mm. it's deadly inaccurate. Uh, Tim, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Points. Moving now on to, on to Tom now. Tom, <gasps> your first word is. Yes. Dog. Dog. D O G. Dog. Fantastic. Correct. I'm going to mark you down to three. I'll also, just for the first round, I'll show you all the, the fucking, you know, unknown insect of victory. Uh, Rose, mm -hmm. your first word is bat. The reason we're all here. Bat. <laughs> <laughs> bat. B A T. Bat. Correct. Thank you. And Mads, rounding out the first round, round three, your first word is fox. Fox. F-O-X. Fox. Congratulations, everybody. You have all successfully spelled your words in the first round, after which the scores are tied at three apiece. Mads, it I really... Cool if you said, um, it would have been cool if you said, what did the fox say correct? At yeah. Point, you know? Well, hindsight's twenty twenty, Rose. Yeah, and no, I know. Just a couple, couple of notes. She Instead of noting me as I go, why don't you interject with your great zingers? You know. 
It's just if I you just want to constructive criticism. <laughs> you want people engaged in this. You want to you want to reference memes from you know years ago. That's true. I do want to reference memes from years ago. All right, guys, we're now on to round two. Things are going to get a little bit more challenging quite quickly. Mm. Now, uh, round two is called Stuff I Found Around My House. So these are objects that I found around the house, and you will have to spell them. Also, if you need, you can, of course, ask for them in a sentence. I've actually, for this one, I just found a bunch of jokes from the internet that I will tell in reference to the objects. So, Tim, right. you're up first. Your word is giraffe. Shit. I, had a, I had a nightmare I couldn't spell the word giraffe two nights ago, which is why we're featuring the giraffe. And a it's a funny joke. joke. What the internet giraffes, website did you get that from? That wasn't a joke. That was just a memory. Oh, sweet. Gira giraffes are hardworking and make amazing employees. Only problem is their neckties cost $5,000. I can't handle jokes when I'm this nervous. Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. Giraffe. Brett. Oh, thank God. I should have said earlier, by the way, uh, you get five points for spelling these ones correctly. So Tim, that pushes your score to eight. Tom. I'm sweating bullets yes. here, bud. Your word is from the kitchen. And it is colander. Oh, my God. And a great joke involving the word colander. Yes, is, uh, please. Why did, why did the colander take a day off? Why? Well, it was feeling strained. This is a good one. I'm too nervous now because I'm like, colander. Jeez, okay. C O L C O L A N D E R. Correct. Oh, yes. good shit. Rose Matafeo, your word, yes. and this is something I've seen you holding in your own isolation unit, actually, is. Ukulele. Ukulele. Before All right. you start spelling, I would just like to say mm -hmm. um, a ukulele, there were a lot of good jokes for ukulele, and this one's quite long. A ukulele player okay. suddenly realizes he left his vintage ukulele out in his car overnight. He rushes outside and his heart drops when he sees that his car window is broken. Fearing the worst, he peeks through the window and finds that there are now five ukuleles in his car. Pretty I'm just the sit up. My internet Wait, connection was, was unstable. Yeah, mine did too. Uh, I did the whole same. thing and it was still same. missing a punchline. That's okay. No, it's you, ukuleles. <laughs> they're, the dis, <laughs> they're, they're the discount what? recorders okay. of guitars. Anyway, ukulele. Okay. Ukulele. U K U L E L E. Ukulele. Correct. Oh my God. Oh, it's true. It is, it is Thanks, Tim. What the fuck, Tim? Your energy is, is chaotic right now. <laughs> is. I can't help you, man. <laughs> Lily. You how? Um, like, what's going on? Do you need I'm a wee? I'm a competitive game show that's been broadcast online, man. Do you need a wee, bro? Do you need to wee, Tim? No, nah, I'm good. I've got an iron bladder. Only 160 people are watching. That's like, you know. What? Hey, Rose, that's good numbers for here. Those, those okay? are huge numbers. <laughs> There's only 5 million people in New Zealand. <laughs> that's so true. There's not many hi, here, every, hi, everyone watching. Hi, everyone watching. Thank you. Now that you've named how many people are watching, you've, you've blown the bandwidth. Mads. Yes. Your word is vinyl. Oh, yeah. And the joke is, uh, you hear of the dyslexic Satanist? <laughs> They play their vinyl records Fords. <laughs> That's good. Um, okay, vinyl. Vinyl. V I N Y L. Vinyl. Correct. Everyone yes. off to a perfect start. Shot. Eight points apiece after two rounds. Things are about to get slightly more challenging for you. And this round in particular is a nightmare, I imagine, for a contestant. This is the homonym round. Oh, God. I'm going to ask you to spell a word. Homonym. You're going to have to guess which word homonym. it is. Me and Mads will be good at that. Yeah, we're, I was going to... Homonym, homonym. <laughs> Couple Tim, of homonyms right here. You're up first. Please <laughs> spell the word. Um, find. 
Can I have the word again? Find. Find. F I N E D. Find. Correct. Find. <laughs> As in Holy charged sack. a penalty. Five points for that. You move to 13. Tom. Fuck yes. Your word is grown. Yes. G R O A N. Unbelievable, but it's correct. Grown, as in moan. Grown. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Your word. In the I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't book end it. I'm sorry. Believe, I can't believe no one's asked for in a sentence yet. Well, you've got a chance <laughs> to do that right now. Rose, your word <laughs> is night. Can I please have it in a sentence? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck you. K N I H T. You spelt Fuck. night as in a feudal horseman. We were looking for. Night. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I don't know about this, man. <laughs> Incorrect. <Bullshit>. Rose, <laughs> That's you remain. Fun. That's fucking fuck. <laughs> On eight. <laughs> you didn't give it to me in a sentence. That's against the laws of spelling bees. Maybe in your script's national spelling bee, but here at Guy Montgomery's Guy Montgomery's Bee, this is how we do it. Mads, <laughs> rounding out round three, would you please spell for me? The word mints. <laughs> mints. <laughs> mints. M I N C E mints. <laughs> I'm sorry. You spelt mints as in a t as in to chop finely. We were looking for. Mints. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. God damn it. That's man. insane. And, so, and we've been punished. Good try, we're man. Being punished Len, good try. Tim is so drunk that he read your mind. Actual witch, you can read your mind. Like, that's unfair. Rose, Tom is obviously psychic. <laughs> Rose, we know yeah. that. You are so furious that you're literally <laughs> collapsing your internet. And Tim is wearing internet. a fucking hat. He's drunk. So after three rounds, we have Tim and Tom tied at the top on 13 points. Right. A furious Rose in third equal with Mads on eight. Does now, this count as a fracas? What, what's happening right now? A fracker? Rose is bringing the fracas. Yes, it is. Yeah. Definitely. It'll be, there'll just be detritus, detritus, detritus <laughs> after, at the end yeah, of it. All right. Everybody? I'm going to drive my car up to your house at a level two lockdown, mate. <laughs> fuck you up with it. You know. Oh, she's not mincing her words, that's for sure. You guys are having a lot of fun with words right here. I'm just trying to make sure the technical element's working okay. We've got a lot of comments coming from uh, people discussing so Rose's no energy. Grown. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Right on time. Um, <laughs> Tom, I've heard, I'm, I'm hearing word that your internet's quite jerky. If there's any way you could uh, tell whoever you live with to stop using the internet yes. or shut down other windows, that would be great. Otherwise, we'll just keep going and people will have to live with it. We're doing our best here. It's the first one. Who's watching Ozark, Tom? Who else is watching Ozark? Who's watching Ozark behind your back? I was. The real question. I know. <laughs> Tom's watching it in between his round. <laughs> it is yeah, a I'm watching the crowd. I live in a valley that's valley. always got trouble with internet. I apologize. That's okay. I, just wouldn't, I, just, valley. I wouldn't have booked you had I known. <laughs> All right, guys. Moving on to round four of our six rounds. This round is the bones round. Now, it's common knowledge that bones are made up of letters, but did you know these words are made of bones? Up first, we have Tim Bat. <sighs> What the fuck is going on? What do you mean they're made of bones? You're, well, these are all, these are, you're going to have to spell different bones, aren't you? Oh, shit. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. 
I'm doing my best. Tim, doing great. <laughs> would you please spell for me the word vertebrate? Remember, you can ask for it in a sentence and you can ask for its definition. I don't think either of those things are going to help. I want to try the metal and Sami method of like approaching the word like running over hot coals. <laughs> vertebrae, V I R T U R A E. Oh, fuck. I had to do that a lot just to emphasize how inaccurate your spelling of vertebrae was. Mm. Vertebrae, oh. of course, V E R T E B R A E. Mm. Fuck. These words are still only worth five, so your score remains 13. That is insane. What was last round worth? Also five. They would have been Forgetting. worth more, but I forgot to tell you before the round started, <laughs> and I'm nothing if not fair. Tom Sainsbury. Okay. Your word yes. is phalanges. Can I have it in a sentence? Would you believe Can it? Can I have it in a sentence? Yeah. Do you know, the problem is, actually, I wrote these sentences to all tell one story, so I'm going to need to do Tim's sentence first. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do Tim's one, and I'm going to flow on to your one. What a beautiful day for okay. a walk along this muddy I think I've got ridge. the spelling of it. Oh, sorry. Oh, dear. I've fallen, and in doing so, severely damaged my vertebrae thankfully the damage seems to be contained in my back oh no i was mistaken it's not just my back at all it's become clear to me i've also broken several of my phalanges well the good news Fuck, is i would have got it with that season, almost so, certainly damn. contained to my back and hands phalanges great here we go p h a L E E S. I'm so sorry, Tom. Your internet was a bit too dicey for me to pick up your spelling. You're going to need to spell it again, exactly the same, but please do it very slowly. P A H A L A N G E S. Correct. <laughs> yes. Well done, Tom. Sorry about my internet, guys. It's all right. Your spelling is on the money. We move on now to Rose, whose word is metatarsals. Fuck off. Okay. Metatarsals. M E T A T A R S A L S. Correct. <gasps> Do you know how powerful you feel when you well pause? Well done, Rose. It's so good. There was fucking nuts. Oh my god. You're a genius. Oh, that's a good pause. That's a hard word. You're, you're good. free. Pause was insane. Good spelling bee stuff all around. Just good tension, hey. good drama. Thanks, Mads. Yeah, yeah. I love what that. is a metatarsal? Can you please use this sentence to guide and reach your foot or in your hand? A metatarsal, it's any of the bones of the foot. So in a sentence, I would have said, Would you believe it? When I went to stand up and make my way to the hospital, I slipped and rolled over my feet, breaking every single one of my metatarsals on the way down the hill. At least this wow. run of horrific incidents has spared my tailbone. I would have killed myself had I damaged my tailbone. Okay. Madeline, you're up next, and your word is coccyx. <laughs> um, can I have it in a <laughs> sentence, please? Ah, fuck. My coccyx, otherwise known as my tailbone, is also mortally injured. Well, I had a good run, I guess. I've got no idea, really. I've got no idea. My instinct is there's an X. I'm not saying that as a... I'm allowed to deliberate with myself, aren't I, before I officially... You are. 
<clears throat> Fuck. I don't know, man. I'm going to take a stab. Coccyx. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to spell it how I want to spell it, not how it's necessarily spelled. <laughs> C. O. C. K. S. I. X. Coccyx. <laughs> A genuine disaster. Box six is spelled C O C C Y X. Would never go. Were you, were you spelling genuine G I N U W I N E? Because that's how you pronounce it just then. Genuine. I only want to spell Cox six. How the fuck I want to spell Cox six. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying. Absolutely. How also, dare you tell a, a strong woman of color how to spell Cox six? <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. I'm out. We out. I, I, I don't spell the words. I just make the rules. Tom, also, I observed so you I'm um, trying to help Madeline by spelling it out with your hands. I don't know if you know everyone can see your camera. <laughs> also, you're competing against Madeline. Also, your internet is so slow that your hands would have been coming up well after she was putting S's all, and K's also, into the word. Also, I exactly. I exactly. ignored the guy because I assumed he was do doing something rude like yeah. this. So I didn't actually, I wasn't looking. Mm, was never. So, he's, a, he's a pretty sorry, nasty Tom, guy. <laughs> well, guys, after yeah. four rounds, the scores are as follows. In fourth place, we have Mads on eight. In third equal, we have Tim and Rose on 13. And in first place, on 15 points, we have Tom. I'm going to see if I can engage oh. with any of the comments here. Um, Just make a second equal, dude. Me and Rose could be second equal. Yeah, you should be, but I, yeah. I decided not to. Oh, um, oh no, everyone sort of just second equal. entertain themselves in the comments. A lot of people are commenting on how last, Tim's eh? getting plastered. Am I Your first, first last? last, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm just going to leave those Tim, comments alone. Manage, like edit together our podcast and upload it with this kind of energy, or is this your nighttime energy? Uh, nighttime is energy. This, Tim Bat's nighttime energy because it's, it's, it's wild. I love it. I'm like, uh, have you ever seen the movie Gremlins? I'm not technically supposed to be around when the sun goes sure. down. Don't put water okay. on me and no food after midnight. He's psyched about alert level three, bro. makes sense. Psyched about alert level three, yeah. Tim's ready for tomorrow. Um, now, this next round, guys, this is an exciting round. This is the buzz round. And what that means is you're no longer spelling individually. I have 10 words in front of me. Your names are your buzzers. First to buzz in and spell the word correctly will score 10 points. However, okay. can Guy, yeah? I just got a text come through on my thing saying I'm being too loud. Right. So I think my wife just said I'm being too loud. So I think I'm at an immediate disadvantage in this round. Um, any advice as to how I might um assert my self without um decibel using decibels give you marriage advice guy come on let's hear it look, can I, I can i can i can i can i suggest something yeah. we have reactions so we could go like this if we bu oh to buzz in oh, can you see cool. that that thumb that thumb up has everyone got access to the reactions oh. then tom's going to be oh. at disadvantage at a disadvantage with this because this internet's so shit. Tom's going to be at a disadvantage anyway because his internet's so shit. Uh, Mads, it's really, it's yeah. really tricky. It. Oh, reactions. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, what uh, if we Mads all just use the reaction and we just go? I'm going to leave my. You know, yeah. if, if everyone can't can't be loud, we all be quiet. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Everyone is going to have to whisper their names. You can spell the words at your chosen volume, but you will have to whisper your Thank names. Thank you so much, guys. So yes. just to reiterate, this is the buzz round. There are 10 words. First to buzz in and spell the word correctly gets 10 points. If you buzz in and spell the word incorrectly, you lose five points. And if someone spells a word incorrectly, you can then jump in and spell the word correctly over them. This is the only round where that is possible. Wow. Is everyone ready? Do we understand the rules of the buzz round? Yes. Great whispering, Rose. 
contestants, your first word is satiate. Rose. Tom. S A T I A T E. Correct. <laughs> oh, bless Damn it. you. Sorry. <laughs> your second word in the buzz round is. Let's. I just wanted to. You. I just want to get in there quick. I don't, well, I'm doing this one blind. I'm going to go for it blind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the word is, but I've, I'm backing myself. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but wait, don't you give me the word? No. I reckon the word's accent. <laughs> okay. <No>. Topography. <laughs> T P O G R A P H Y. Topography. While that is oh. how you spell topography, I'm sorry to say it is not the word I was looking for. You took you took a risk and it didn't pay off, but we're proud of you, Mads. That's, uh, that's me, man. That's me, to a T. I just... The word, boundaries. the word is connoisseur. Tom. <laughs> Tom. C-O... N N O S S I E U R No double S it's double S C O N N Con A S S I If we try if we try spell it, do we lose points? Absolutely. After him. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't have to though. You can just we can just let the word know. pass. Can would I try like to spell it? I'd like to try. You risk you risk losing five more points. I, I'm already first last anyway. Okay, I like okay. it. Go ahead. C O N O S S I E U R. Do I get negative points? Conner? You will lose five points Con for that. Gnu. Gnu. Gnu? Could I try? Gnu? Should I just try? Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, but you'll lose points if you get it wrong. Let's all just lose points, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, no, so. I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Rose is competitive. Oh, no, I'm not going to She wants to win. All right, guys. Connoisseur oh, is actually spelled C-O-N-N-O-I-S-S-E-U-R. <gasps> Oh, oh, um, con I would have actually said that. I would have actually said that. It's easy to say now, isn't it? <laughs> no, I would have. Your next word, and remember, you can ask for these in sentences and the definitions of. Your next word is fluorescence. Tim. Yeah? You should really say if you hear someone, guy. Come on, man. Tim, I'm, I'm yeah, pinching yeah. needles here. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You're good to go, Tim. Fluorescence. F. L. R. U. E. N. C. E. Rose. Oh, Rose. shit. Rose. I can't push Rose. this machine enough. Rose. Yeah, okay. go ahead, Rose. Fluorescence. F. L. U. O R E S C E N C E Fuck, 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 fuck! You spelt the wrong fluorescence. Ooh. That is cooked, that's why, bro. That's why, it's, that's why it's good to ask for it in a sentence. That's brother. why I specifically reiterated before the that, that you can't ask for it in a sentence. Look, there's a lot going on, man. We're whispering. I don't know how to spell the other. I don't know how to spell the other three reasons. So it's fine. Tom, have you buzzed in? No. You have to buzz in before you can hear it in a sentence. I'm 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 not touching that one with a ten foot clown pole. <laughs> <laughs> 
Meds? <laughs> Me. Do you want to spell it or not? No, I want to spell phosphorescence, but that's not the word. You can do that in your own time, thanks. The next word Phosphorescence. is... Phosphorescence. <laughs> <laughs> Perforation. Buzz. I heard Rose Buzz. first. Buzz? I heard Rose first, sorry. Um, can I please hear it in a sentence? Tom. <laughs> you see a sweatshirt I'm that first. has been... <laughs> Oh, no, oh, no, I. Matt. Sorry, what's the sentence? No, 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 I, I buzzed in. Yeah, yeah, Rose, Rose, you did. These yeah. other guys are having a lot of fun. Perforation. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay fine. I'll do perforation. Do you want to end a sentence? Well, I mean, no, because there's only one way I know how to spell it. So. Starting with the word perforation, P-E-R-F-O-R-A-T-I-O-N. Correct. Well done. Congratulations, Rose. Rose. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, it's my turn. Can't wait for my turn. The next word is chambray. Meds. Right. Oh. Mads, you got that? Chambray. Can oh, I have a sentence, please? Me fast. These chambray undies are absolutely destroying my nuts. Oh, interesting. My mum used to say chambray. Yeah, chambray works too. <laughs> These, sorry, sentence again, please. These chambray undies are absolutely destroying my nuts. Can I have the origin of the word, please? Uh, French, but it's actually the way it's spelled in English French. is because of old Americans French, getting French wrong. Old French, old, old French, new French, uh, old French. <laughs> <laughs> um, chambray, C H A M B R A Y, chambray. Correct. Oh, wow. The next word is. And by the way, I didn't have time to write sentences for all these words. So some of the sentences have been <laughs> lifted directly from the website, yourdictionary.com. The next word is covenant. Tom, that's Rose. Rose. Tom got in there first. He didn't whisper, but I'm going to allow it because his internet is really making life tough for him. See a covenant. C O V E N A N T. Correct. Oh, you're really milking those pauses, man. Who are you, Dominic Bowden? Fuck. I wish. Hey, dominant Bowden. Who are you? Who are you? you got, who are you? A pause farmer? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I farm pauses for a living. I'm actually giving myself a blister by playing this uh, thinking instrument. Use another instrument. Just build attention. Um, oh, yeah, use another one of the instruments that are in that child's bedroom, guy. Come on. You're gonna, it's going to be lousy with the stuff. No, oh, it no. is. Oh, boy, I'm eating my words. Oh, this is actually in an adult's bedroom. Uh, the next word is... Oh, tough guy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Things are not going so Sorry well, guys. That. Sorry, things tough are, guy. Things are going great for me. I don't need this. Yeah, this is I'm an adult's host. bedroom, too. Look at all this shit. Look at that dinosaur. Holy bit. shit, your kid's living good. I would have killed for a toy that size. That's yeah, cool. Pretty cool dinosaur, man. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, your word is... Not your word, everyone's hmm. word. Is... Just for me, please give me one. How, how much last am I? So much last. Give it's me the three-letter one again. There's still everything to play for here. Oh, the next word is vestibule. Rose. Mads. Oh, Rose got that. Sorry, Mads. Tim, vestibule. I don't think you know how to spell any of these words. Is that true? <laughs> None. Vestibule. Not one. V-E-S-T-I-B-U-L-E. -E. Vestibule. That is correct. Three words left in the buzz round. Everything to play for. I've got to go for it. The next word is predecessor. Tom. I heard Tom and Mads first equal. You go, guys Mads. Gonna... Okay. What a gentleman. Got to get her up. <laughs> she's got to get, she's got to get me up. Predecessor. She's getting me up. Can I have a sentence, please, just for fun, just to buy me some time? 
<laughs> you call them your ex-husband. I call them my predecessor. <laughs> predecessor. P R E D E S S Oh no, I've fucked that up, haven't I? Have I fucked that up already? Yeah, I know I had. Rose! Damn. Oh, I Rose. did the worst for the fuck. Tom, you should have been doing Rose. that. Can we have an update of the scores so we know how much we have to okay. fight? I want to know how much I have to fight for. Yeah. Yeah, we can have an update of the scores. Um, but I'm what, down. We need to know. We, well, actually, no, I'm going to give you one at the end of the round. Um, is, this, is this just, this is not the final round? No, there's one more round after <laughs> can I this. Do this? Yeah, you're going to spell predecessor? Yeah, okay. Yeah, predecessor. P R E D E C E S S O R. Correct. Yeah. Well done. I, knew, I just fu fucked my thing. I should have just should have said C and I said S. Oh, I know, Mads. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mads. All right. Can I share Two. my points with Mads? No. My solution's just been really hard. Uh, look, we don't have time <laughs> to get into what's going wrong in your lives, guys. The next word is auxiliary. Mads. Tom. Tim got in there. Tim did. No, Tom did. No, I said Tim. T I M. Tim. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct guy. Thank you. Tim should know this Auxiliary. as a sound guy. As a sound guy, you should know this. A U X I L L A R Y auxiliary. Is it the right? That's the bad buzzer. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh, Mads, Mads, get in there. Mads. Mads. Get in there, Mads. Mads. I don't know if I've got this, but A auxiliary. A U X I L L I A R Y. Uh. Oh, I'm not auxiliary then. No, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna either. R R R R R no. A couple of cowards we have in our midst. <laughs> is spelt A U X. Oh my gosh, you were so close, Madeline. I thought there was two L's. I was sure there was two L's mm. in that word. That's why it's fun. The final word in the buzz round is mellifluous. Mellifluous. Oh, Mads. I'll give it a go. <laughs> go ahead, Mads. Oh, Mads. Oh, Mads. Mads. Oh, Mads. Um, <laughs> Mellifluous. 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 you go to, Mads? What school do you go to? Shut, shut your face. <laughs> Tom. Uh, I think Mads got in first. I'm sorry to say, Tom. I'm sorry to say. Can I back out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mellifluous. See, I'm going to have troubles, troubles with my owls again in this, I think. I can picture the word, but that doesn't mean that it's right. It's just a word I'm picturing. Don't make me put a timer on you, Mads. There's one thing I've learned. It's don't follow your instinct, Mads. Not in this. <laughs> not, not in this spelling bee. <laughs> Mellifluous. M. E L I F L U O S mellifluous. Ah, have it a good go. You, did, you gave an incredible go. Tim, you got in there. Go ahead. Mellifluous. 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 Yeah, it doesn't bode well if you can't say the word, but go ahead. Mellifluous. <laughs> M. E L L I F L U O U S mellifluous. 
My yes. fucking man, where'd you get that from? Yes. That is correct. Hey, I just cheated, but you, you didn't say that we couldn't. So Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh my fucking god. I feel unsafe. I feel I feel unsafe, unsafe too. Those I points think, are struck from the record. Should, I think you should give me those points because the rules? I put you know it I put an That's extra right. L into auxiliary, but you're it fucking, really you're a you know fucking what? desperate man, Tim. Man, I, I am, it wasn't I am, in the rules. I am going to give you those points because you Thank played you. the buzz round in the spirit of the spelling bee. Tim, <laughs> I shouldn't need to say don't cheat the in the rules. Wild. You have all, and you know, did you see how happy I was when you spelled that correctly? You absolute dog. I can't believe you've done this. You've totally betrayed the integrity of the entire tournament. It is wow. a big. It is a big flaw. Though, but he also, so but he also said. like put. He also put in some pauses, like he was spelling it, like grasping letters yeah it was quite a good this is yeah can i can i also just ask he's had these shades on for the last few words i'm wondering how long he's I've been got, i've got i've got i've got one thing to say i've got one thing to say to tim grow up grow up thank you well grow i'm up, just tim. wasn't in the rules though was it tim, yeah it's in, in the rules at the start not cheating is always in the rules Contract so, you make. guys after the buzz round and heading into yeah. the final round, the scores are as follows. The, the scoring sh sheet will need some work on for next time. But we have, in third equal, Mads and Tim on three. <laughs> now, to be fair, should I not get some points for honesty when you ask me where did you get that from? No, I don't think you get points for cheating honestly. Because that's honestly, just cheating. With it's the way that cheating. Tim Bad is bending the rules, I'm worried for him going into level three uh, tomorrow mm. because mm. I don't know. He's going to, I don't think he is a rule abider. I think he That's, is trying look, to find ways. He's a no, cowboy. No, he's, he's a he's he's a unlike Guy Montgomery has outlined cowboy. exactly what we need to do and I'll be following those rules. I will not be compared, uh, compared unfavorably to Jacinda Ardern one more time in my goddamn life. I'm sick to death of it. You we need to get over this, same. man. Get this chip off your shoulder. Congratulations. You're not going to be the prime minister. You've all made it to the final round, even those of you who have been cheating or who have cheated. So in third equal, we have Mads and Tim on three. In second place, we have Tom on 23. And in first place, on a whopping 48 points, we have oh, Rose Matafeo. Rose. So by my yeah. math, that means that Rose is... 25 points ahead of Tom. Curiously, oh, though, the final round, if you spell the word correctly, it is worth 26 points. Wow. <laughs> 26. <laughs> it, it's worth 49 points. 69 <laughs> points. If you get it, yeah, if you get it, no, here is, here's the rules. If you get it right, it's worth... 26 points if you get yeah, it wrong. 100 it's... Bi bi billion, jillion, billion. No, no. The numbers are real, thanks. If you get it right, it is worth 26 points. If you get it wrong, it's worth negative 69. All contestants must spell their words. Right. This is the championship round. Tim, you're up first. Now, this is called the championship round because words that have been correctly spelled to win this is comprised of words that have been correctly spelled to win the Scripps National Spelling Bee, arguably the second best known spelling bee in the world after Guy Montgomery's Guy Mont Spelling Bee. Tim, your word is sacrilegious. sacrilegious. Hands, hands where I can see him, please, the whole time. S-A-C-R-I-L- <laughs> I G O U S. I hate to do it to you, brother. No, you don't, though. This is the thing because I cheated earlier and I get it. I'm the heel of the game and that's fine. It's I just want to say because I feel like I'm out now and that's it for me. I came to win. I regret nothing. And um, let's all stay safe out there. Thank you, Tim. Beautiful sentiment from a horrible man. Thank you, Tom. Tom Yes. Your word is onerous. 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 And you can have it in a sentence. Can I also see how it's spelled? <laughs> Not immediately. <laughs> Owner onerous? Yeah. Can you I'll put can it in you, a sentence. Can I have it? 
Uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, tell him how it's spelled, guys. The word onerous was correctly spelled by 11 year old Kim Kelvin of Canton, Ohio, to win the 1949 Scripps National Spelling Bee. Onerous. Okay, here goes nothing. Onerous. O N E R O U S. Onerous. Correct. And that puts <laughs> All sorts of pressure on Rose Matafeo as she now must spell this word correctly to win the championship. Am I, Rose, wait, am I just out? I'm no, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be spelling. You're, you're playing for pride. This is just bullshit. Oh, come on. You're, playing, like you're playing for representation, Madeline. Thank you. Oh, no, now I've got a reason. Rose, your word is vignette. Oh, she's piece got this. Piss. Piece of piss. Why weren't these words in the last round? What was the what was the word? Vignette. Vignette. Can I have it in a sentence? The word vignette was correctly spelled by 13-year-old Doris okay, Ann right. Hall of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to win the 1952 Scripps National Spelling Bee. Vignette. V-I-G-N-E-T-T-E. -E. Vignette. That is. Correct. Oh my God. Well done, Rose. Vignetta. And thanks. And no, and also, also, so good on Onerous. Finally, because I wrote it, even though we know who our champion is, Madeline Sami, your final word is sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus, right? Am I right? <laughs> sarcophagus. More like sarcophagus. 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 S A R C O. P H. Sarcoph. A G. U S. Correct. <laughs> Whoa. Sarcophagus. <laughs> and so, <laughs> allow me to tell you the final scores, please. Uh, Mads, your one's quite hard. I've got 120 points, 116. I've got 69 points for my last. <laughs> you should have scored it per, you should do a thing where you, you can choose how long the, a word you want and you get points per letter of that word. So, at the conclusion <laughs> of the inaugural <laughs> Global Gorries Government Spelling Bee, thank you for your thought, Mads. Sorry, I was doing maths. <laughs> Traditionally a week's of mine. And four, yep, that too. In fourth place, the dastardly cheat that is Tim Bat on negative 66 <laughs> points. In third place, on negative 27 points, Madeline Sami. Wait, how is it negative? I had three points. <laughs> and then I got my word right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, you didn't. I thought that you were on negative 53, but the negative five was too close to the, the three. So you didn't, <laughs> actually, you didn't actually get that. I'm so sorry. You got 29 She's on 29. Points. Yep. And second place on a respectable 49 points, Tom Sainsbury, and the winner of the first ever Guy Montgomery's Guy Mont Spelling Bee and of this formerly full pot of honey that was finished by someone that wasn't me today that I will be handing over to you once it is legal for us to see each other. Oh, that's awesome, actually. I'll give you this honey instead. It's Rose Matafeo, oh, everybody. Oh. Yay. Well done, Thank Rose. You. Got Rose Thank representing. You. Can I just, can I shout out my formidable uh, opponents, except for Tim Bat, because that was <laughs> fucking taking the first. I was literally but about Tom to ask even man. Amazing <laughs> stuff. But Tim, you're cancelled. While I'm here, can I plug my sound clip? Lock him up. I'd say lock him up. Absolutely. Say lock her up. We used to say lock her up. That's what, that's what say we say. Go on, go on, go on, spelling bee. We yeah. say hashtag lock him up. Tim, please plug your SoundCloud. <laughs> uh, SoundCloud.com slash dirty 69 I fucking love it. It's a great handle. Um, thank you so much so for this. participating, guys. Thank you to everyone at home who tuned in. Hopefully we'll be back next week. Rose, you do have the option to be the carryover champion and spell again. Otherwise, the other contestants, yeah. you gave it your all. Some of you played <laughs> yeah. dirty. 
Um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm open to feedback. We're going to do that <laughs> offline. Uh, thank you so Actually, much. Man, you brought up a good point before that there should be the opportunity for you to choose the length yeah, of your word. Yeah, you should be able to yeah, choose. So I've just muted him and Mads. Tom, Rose, thank you so <laughs> yeah. much for taking part. It's been an absolute delight. We'll see you guys next time. Good Bye, night. everyone. Bye. Keep spelling. <laughs>